Right now, Maricopa Sheriff's deputies are on the scene of what they say is the most violent animal seizure they've ever had. Deputies had to pull apart several dogs who are believed to be part of a puppy mill. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resenda is live at the home in Whitman, which is about 35 miles northeast of Phoenix. And Mary Ellen, what exactly happened? You know, Stephanie, just moments ago, sheriff deputies wrapped up here at the scene after processing a hundred dogs. It took them all day long. Along with the dogs, there were two horses and some turtles, all in very bad condition at this home. One of those horses actually kicked a vet in the chest, and several dogs viciously attacked another adult dog that chewed its way into the wrong pen. Lots of blood, lots of issues. Those dogs had to be rushed off to the hospital. It was a scene sheriff deputies say they have never encountered as they pulled several dogs off each other. Some serious puncture wounds on some of these dogs. There was there's some, some serious concern that uh, these dogs might not survive. Deputies say 59 year old Colleen Jolly lived at the home with over 100 pets, most of them designer dogs, including English and French bulldogs all bringing in thousands of dollars apiece, along with two horses, a bird, and several turtles. Deputies say Jolly was running what looks like a puppy mill. In the backyard are wood crates or uh, boxes that are screwed shut, and there's only a, a tiny slit on the top that allows the dogs to breathe. Uh, there's also, you know, dogs living in their waste in there. Little food, uh, no water. Deputies were even more disgusted by what they found inside the home. We came into the house. It's very bad condition, almost like you would say a hoarder house is, but without all the piles of junk. It's dog feces everywhere, urine everywhere. Among the feces and urine, a three year old toddler, Jolly, had custody of. Literally a pile of dog waste right next to her crib. Now, sheriff deputies tell us they are not going to book her into jail just yet because they're waiting on test results from the veterinarian. And depending on those results will depend on what charges she's charged with. She will absolutely low be charged with at least 100 misdemeanor charges for all of those dogs, one count per every dog. And depending on those test results, could be facing some felony charges. As for that toddler, she faces one count of child neglect charges. And uh, we're told that the state now has custody of that toddler. Steph? Yeah, from CSO to be saying that this is one of the worst that they've ever seen is saying quite a bit. Mary Ellen, thank you. And